And welcome to Saturday Morning Cartoons. Thanks for joining me along with the Saturday Boys, Nick and Joe of the Found Footage Festival. Hi. And stars of the new film Chop and Steal playing at a theater near you. Damn right. Woo. And of course, the champion of Dewey Decimal Code 741.5, comic strips, books, and cartoons, <laughs> Professor Caitlin McGurk of the Billy Ireland Cartoon Library and Museum at Ohio State University in Columbus. How is everybody doing today? Oh, we're ready to shat it up. I'm ready so to good. shat it up. Super. <laughs> Bring feel, on the shat. I'm out of the breath. shat. Let's yeah. shat. Here. Let's do it. Today we're going to discuss the 1967 cartoons of DC comic book superheroes, Flash and Green Lantern, and their alarmingly young sidekicks. But first, does anyone have any cool cereal or mug they'd like to share? With Caitlin here, I always feel like cereal is appropriate, so I, I got a new one. Um, I hop mini pancake blueberries and syrup cereal. Ooh, and that sounds good. I just took a bite and it's delicious. The the berries are the top note. The syrup is kind of in is in the back, and the berries are surprisingly juicy tasting, even though they're just colors yeah. on like cookie crisp shapes. But uh, in terms of pancake uh, and waffle based cereal, I gotta say this is my top right now. It's better than but waffle crisp. The the cover looks weird. Wait, put it put it back up. Mm -hmm. Doesn't doesn't it look weird? It's like not it, your it's, typical cover. You know? No, it's it doesn't not. have all the extra stuff around it. Even yeah. the back is pretty. You get a mini pancake. I well, like it. Looks it. Kind of, it looks kind of I fake. Like it. You don't. That's what I thought. It looks fake. Mm. You don't normally get negative space on on uh, cereal. You're right. And no like, mascot. Nothing. No, kinda, they, they fill no up nonsense. every, they fill up every, it's like a Master P uh, album. Mm. There's no real estate for anything. You have to like mm -hmm. fill it up. So, but that one has negative space. Remember, by the way, the Rudy Tootie Fresh and Fruity commercial? I people... worked at an IHOP. It was my <gasps> first job. Wait, you're and telling really... us, you're telling us this now. What? Sorry. Like, yeah. It's yeah. season 14 of well, Shattered Day Morning Cartoons you know and I've you're telling us this now. i got to save some things and slowly work <laughs> them in. And I got I got uh, fired, actually, like, <laughs> within a few months. And then as an it's act better. of rebellion, I didn't return the uniform. So still at my parents' house on Long Island, there's like wow. a cute little IHOP uniform. So wait, why did you, what was the actor, like, what did you do to get fired? What did you, what? That's who I want to tell the story. I mean, I was, just kind, of a, I was kind of like a gross person. Person when I, was, <laughs> when I was in like there's so much new information coming out here when i okay. worked there you know i mean let's say, let's face it earlier in the season we saw this really greasy image of me with the corn shirt like picture <laughs> that kid working at ihop same deal like lots of uh black eye makeup and stuff on un shampooed hair I love and it. um i was just kind of i was kind of gross and i did something uh that uh a customer complained about and so i got fired do you know um, what you did or do you yes, not remember? I know what I did. Oh, can Basically, you say it? Fine, you, yeah. You, so yeah. <laughs> I mean I also just sucked at the job. <laughs> just to, to set the scene. This IHOP is in uh Comac, New York, on Long okay. Island, where I grew yeah. up. And uh it's like just down the street from uh the church that I grew up going to and stuff. And so IHOP Sunday morning church mm. crowd is insane. And it was that kind of a morning, and I was waiting table and someone asked me for lemon slices to put in their tea or something. And I had just started just a, a few weeks ago. I barely understood what was going on at any given moment. And so I went over to get lemon slices for them, but it didn't occur to me like to put them on a little plate. So I just handed it. To, I just handed them. It's not a bad. That seems reasonable. In no. my bare hands, like I yeah. just handed them and dumped it. So I just show up with this like dirty handful <laughs> of lemon slices for this old. Here couple. you go, lady. 
and yeah. they were it's yeah, like a hair hanging off out. of it yeah i thought I you were gonna say you were amazing. like an upside down cross necklace and said it why don't you have god given for you i thought it was gonna be much worse than just giving uh lemons not i thought there was gonna be some got very high standards there i thought there's gonna be some so. nose picking involved I thought no. for sure there was going to be Sorry, some Sorry, you guys. Yeah. No, well, no. Caitlin, I got um, put on probation at McDonald's my first month there for not smiling enough. I stayed wow. and worked there for two years, but I kept the uniform when I left, so I still have that. Maybe right one on. Saturday I could wear that. You wear the uh, IHOP outfit. and Sounds I don't know great. If you have any uniforms you used to work at, George and Joe, but... I, I was never fired from a job. I was put on probation at several jobs. Um <laughs> Including Found Footage no. Festival. Is that <laughs> well, I'm probation Nick, currently, currently, <laughs> currently, Nick and I had a talk before, and uh, I'm on probation. So nope. um, I'll have a clipboard and a legal pad taking notes in this episode. So <laughs> uh, up and up. Here's my mug. Uh, this is this is a uh, I don't know. Apparently an inside joke. Uh, I don't know what's going on with this one, but this is cut Uptown, Uptown. Funk Yoda. So you remember um, t- Uptown Funk? That was like mm-hmm. a big. Uh, trend but then there's uptown funk yoda but this was cut i don't know i don't know what this is, this is... uh this it seems is a... like a sketch from like a sketch comedy show and then yeah. like that would be a note you would get back on the yep. rundown exactly so okay. the, but i have this mug now and i don't know if somebody gave it to me or if i've always had it but it's been on the shelf for so long that i have no idea so <laughs> uh mystery mug i like it and i've just got a a classic Ziggy mug from my collection. My favorite you never go superhero. Wrong. Yeah. Yep. 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 I like to think that you, like, when you were at these jobs, Caitlin, you were like Ziggy at these jobs, weren't you? You know, I'm kind of a dreamer. I'm not like someone who moves really fast. That's I'm what like, I'm saying. I, I feel and like so that's something Ziggy. Food business and food service, not for me. No, yeah. I, I feel like that's something Ziggy would have done. Like, here are your lemon slices. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> and I you also would... didn't have any pants on, and so I, I was gonna like, say, <laughs> yeah, that's another thing in common. Board of Health called. <laughs> Maybe that's why you're fired. Yeah. Uh, huh, yeah. Either that or the lemons, one of those two. Yeah. Well, I've got a mug of. Um, let's see. This is Batman <laughs> slapping Robin. This is the famous meme. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Turned Classic. into a mug, but it, it was an that actual was... panel. Keep your wife's name out of your damn mouth. Is that, yes. that right before he did yes. that? Okay. Right. Yep. When That's he was dating thought. Catwoman. There's just no segue needed to uh, talk about sidekicks then with my mug. But here is the opening of a cartoon we're going to watch some select shorts from. The Superman Aquaman Power of the Aquaman. Aquaman. Aquaman, my friend. They always fight for what is right. Live with danger and adventure, they are men of might. Hopping from another planet, swoops upon a foe. Nothing stops the team, tightens everywhere they go. Flash by the eyes who follow with the super speed. Against the force of evil, the atom will succeed. Green lantern's power ring can accomplish anything. It's just going. <laughs> Not the coolest, like, intro to a super. Yeah. It's a nightmare. It sounds like a show turn. Sounds like one of those like Steve Young like uh, uh, <laughs> industrial. The bathrooms are coming and yeah. yeah. The bathtubs over Broadway. Are, the bathtubs <laughs> over Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like. Ooh, yeah. So that's the Superman Aqu- Aquaman Hour of Adventure. Mm. I'm afraid because it's me, I have to go through the entire history of comic books very quickly. Oh boy. Right. I'll, be, I'll be in the other room. Okay. I'll call up. Okay, so superheroes were the primary drivers of comic book sales, starting with the debut of Superman in 1938 in Action Comics number one, followed by Batman in 1939 with Detective Comics 27. We all know this. Uh, And major characters who are still around appeared in quick succession. You had The Flash debuted uh, in Flash Comics number one, 1939. Green Lantern in all American comics number 16. That was in 1940. But everything changed with the first sidekick, Robin, also in 1940, he gave Batman somebody to talk to. Otherwise, there was a lot of thinking out loud. Um, Mm -hmm. Nick and Joe's favorite thing. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Also, it gave kids someone they could relate to as they were reading their comics. Um, Soon, most superheroes had a sidekick, but not everybody thought this was a great idea. By the 1950s, Dr. Frederick Wortham, uh, a noted 
a psychiatrist, described Batman Robin as living the dream life of the homosexual. Um, oddly enough, superhero comics had been waning at this point. Um, Green Lantern and The Flash both lost, had lost their comics by 1949. Horror comics were big. There was a big backlash against horror comic books. And uh, I guess the question is, did Frederick Wortham have a point, though? Um, here is a Batman uh, and Robin in bed. Uh, that, was a, that was a good sleep. Let's have a cold shower and a big breakfast. <laughs> You know, yeah. uh, then here they are. Uh... <laughs> oh, boy, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, and, you know, I mean, I think if you're looking for it, you'll see it everywhere. The, you've got this uh, Batman Robin toothbrush, <laughs> but from the back, it, I don't know. It's just. <laughs> uh, what? Yes. Okay. Um, so at least it wasn't under the cape. Horror comics were unable to find distribution by uh the mid fifties. And so publishers returned to their old characters in 1956. This is showcase comics. Number four, the flash was a character who read about the old flash in comic books. And of course, everything it is, old is new again, reboots. Yes. Uh, and he, he had an accident in the laboratory and became the flash. Um, and he of course had a sidekick kid flash who looked exactly like him. Right. Like they didn't even change him up. At least Robin looked different than Batman. Green Lantern then appeared a, a few months later, and he also looked very different. He had a different origin as well. He had a sidekick. Now, I'm not going to say the sidekick's name because it was he referred to him by what I discovered was a racial epithet. In fact, they only changed it around the 90s. So uh, by 1966, Batman was adapted into a TV show. It was a hit. Uh, they made a hit movie out of it. So everybody wanted to make the cartoon of Batman, but ABC had the rights because of the live action show. So Filmation, champions of limited animation, yes. developed Superman, Aquaman, Hour of Adventure. Uh, they decided to bring in the Flash. By this point, Kid Flash has a different costume, as you can see. Oh, yeah. There you and go. They, they got my notes. They got my notes. <laughs> right. Unfortunately, they got the colors mixed up because this is Filmation. Uh -huh. And... Uh, Green Lantern they brought in, but wisely they decided not to use the same uh, sidekick. Instead, they made a Venusian sidekick who it who looks and speaks exactly the same as the guy from, from the uh, comic. <laughs> okay. And with that background, Just let's watch. Slightly less problematic. Yes. We, we, they, they would have, uh, each cartoon would have a Superman cartoon and an Aquaman cartoon, and the, the third would be a, would switch between a Green Lantern a Hawkman, an Adam, or a Flash, Hawkman. or Teen Titans, or the Justice League. There were three of each of those, and they are all tremendously bad. And if you want to see more about that, watch VCR Party episode 135, where I trace how these inspired the ambiguously gay duo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. First of all, they, they could have come up with a better name for Hawkman. Hawkman? The, the, I know Hawkman is so lame. It's so I, lame. I agree. All, birds are not that cool in like that kind of a superhero-y way. And I don't know who wants to be Hawkman. I mean, but can I, I also just mention? Go ahead. I know he's probably not relevant to this, but Aquaman has a sidekick whose name is like Aqua Aqualad. 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 <laughs> Aqualad. That, I think real? his name is Garth. Like it's like oh. Aqu Aqualad named Garth. Anyway, I just had to, I had to throw What's that Robin's there. actual name? Does Robin have an actual name? Is it yes, Dick Grayson? Was, that was the first Robin. And then there was Jason Todd who was killed. They had a 900 line. And people called in and they decided that Robin <laughs> should be killed, the second Robin. There have been like five since then. <sighs> then there's no. Carrie Kelly was the female Robin from uh, Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns. Returns. Yeah. yeah. And there has since been another in the main continuum. Uh, Stephanie Brown, the spoiler, became... In, in the first female Robin in the new continuity. Uh, so. I, I, the biggest question here is, will this episode actually air uh, of Saturday morning cartoons? Yes. Because, because there's a lot of uh, intellectual, intellectual property, property going on here. Yeah. Yeah. There sure is. <laughs> um, but these are currently on YouTube with no restrictions. So All right. roll in the dice. Right, yeah. right baby, baby needs new shoes. Here's the flash. A scarlet costume ejects from his ring, and in a blur of motion, police scientist Barry... A scarlet costume ejaculates from his ring, 
the world's fastest human, the Flash, whose speed enables him to vibrate through solid walls. It's Ted Knight. Conquer the barriers of time and space mm -hmm. in the pursuit of evildoers. Spalding. The Flash, Scarlet Speedster for justice. Are there any Flash fans out there? No. In his laboratory workshop on the outskirts of Central City. And isn't Ezra Miller screwing up the movie plans? Reaches the climax yep. of a fateful experiment. You, my beauty, are my greatest creator. Now, let's test your powers. I mean, he's basically Gargamel, now, right? Now, as police scientist Mary Allen drives through the yeah. city. All cars, emergency. Uh-oh. Whoa, what a weird car. <laughs> Giant robot reported stalking North Countryside, <laughs> causing mass destruction. There is Billy and Johnny in the morning zoo. <laughs> <laughs> Wally, meet me at North Countryside. As Wally, let's back. invent seatbelts. <laughs> <laughs> Triggering a secret like switch drawings. on his ring. Yeah, me too. Barry is that the Flash? Releases the crimson yep. costume of the Flash. World's the animation you saw in the intro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. I have the strength to I love it. Arm. Bobbing up and down. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it already seems like parody. This way, Kid wow. Flash. These are some good backgrounds. Yeah! <laughs> Think you can stop me? Is he super strong or is he just regular strong? Sure but he can run fast. With our bare hands, Flash. No, but maybe we I can pull can... it over with those rocks. He can I do get the message. Strong things with oh, his yeah. legs. Oh, Flasher! Flasher. The brightest, the brightest thing. <laughs> <laughs> we have to have a term for that. We need a term yeah. for that when you see the. Uh... There are a few in this episode. Even more. The trap doors are always that, light, light, brighter. I think they're, I think they're called trap doors. It's like there is a trap door. Yep. No. Yeah. This guy looks, looks like move. such a dork. <laughs> what, uh, who? The Flash or the bad guy? That's, oh, yeah. It's probably being called that that made him make giant robots. Come on, <laughs> and I think the ambiguously gay duo's villain looked a lot like this guy. Yeah. yeah. Big head. Yeah. Yeah. Also, Flash Lad, is that his name? No. <laughs> Kid Flash. That's Aqualad. Aqualad or something. Um, but he has his hair on the outside of his costume. <laughs> yeah. It must take like forever. Got a toupee. Also, I like that. Can you pause? Can I ever? <laughs> I, I like that. I like that we all we we never lived in that time, but we all know about the pumping on the railroad thing. <laughs> yeah. We all know how that device yeah. works, even though we've never actually seen it in real life. We know it from cartoons, right? Mm -hmm. It's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Buster Keaton movies, and yeah, yeah. We just know it from like watching screens. We know Looney about Tunes, that thing. Uh, yeah. Roadrunner and cartoons. Yeah, we know I've also the... seen. I've never seen an anvil in real life. I have no, no. idea what the real use is of an anvil. I've seen an right. anvil <laughs> dropped on one of those rail cars, though. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. They all appear yeah, yeah. at once. Mm -hmm. And then like a big old like a goose uh, bump comes out of their head. <laughs> and, right? a, and a yeah, cuckoo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Birds I, fly around. Yeah. That is an amazing way to have one's hair, though. I know. <laughs> Look it at teases that. it outside. There must be a hole up at the top, but then how does it stay up? I mean, it must take hours before they're about mm -hmm. to start shooting this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, it's a it's a good quiff, if that's the word. Quaff? Quaff? <laughs> What's a quiff? Oh, no. uh, it's not a word. I know. It should be, though. It's a good word. Did you call I it, think it's you, a word. You called a quaff a quiff? No, I think that's a word a for Morrissey fans. No. About oh, okay. his hair. I'm sure they're okay. I'm gonna hit play on this. Yeah, okay. just hit play. The world could make such a fantastic robot. <laughs> You're about to go down a wormhole we didn't want to go down. On target. Let's go. A real quiff hole. <laughs> a giant robot here. <laughs> Surely you don't. No. Need... We got a trap door. <laughs> We know your shady Wait, can you pause? Crack. Yeah. George is right. Quiff is a <laughs> it's a piece of hair. A quiff brushed, is? Especially on a man brushed upward and backward from the forehead. What's a quaff, then? 
A Let, quaff is a drink. Here it is. Style. I quiff. always thought it was quaff. Well, no, quaff. quaff is another word. C O I F. Um, quaff oh, that piece one. Of hair. I thought you meant Q U A F F. Isn't that? Oh no. Quaff no. is a drink. <laughs> no, but quaff, a quaff is like a, a hairstyle, though. Yeah, it yeah, is. A piece of hair, yeah, especially yeah. on a man, brushed upwards and backwards from the forehead. George was 100% right on this. Let's never... Wow. Oh, George. Sorry, George. Sorry, I shouldn't George. have doubted you. I felt like, now I'm going to build a giant angry robot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for doubting me. All right. Let's get back to this trap door that's about to... Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't create such a monstrosity. Hmm? We know your shady reputation, Crag. We're going to search this place. What's this lightly colored spot on the floor? Oh, <laughs> oh trap door. That's the term. <laughs> yes, here is your giant robot. <laughs> but by finding it, you have sealed your doom. For now, my robot guardians will never let robot. you out of here alive. <laughs> now, Aquaman. I walk to the robot. science fair to wreak vengeance on those who scoffed at my robot creations. To those who Look quiffed out. at my robot creations. <laughs> oh, boy, how do we get past that? Get set to streak through during the second they stay open. During the baseball game. Set. Oh, yes, this they called it the street. <laughs> Great thunder! More robots! Great Closing thunder. In on us. Incredibly oh, easy oh. to animate robots. Yeah, <laughs> <really>. <laughs> Look at his eyeballs. You see how Did scary he looked? Yeah, he doesn't have any. Soon it will be nothing. Look at this guy! Robot. robot does everything. Our only escape is through the wall. Let's go! Vibrating <laughs> in the speed what? of light. They can vibrate through walls. Faster than a Hitachi. <laughs> Think we're in time to stop, Crag? <laughs> we'll know in a second. Is that how physics works? Yep. It's, it's how limited animation works. Yeah. Vibrate at the speed of light. Earth and her man -made satellites. You can go through walls. A place to start my destruction. <laughs> Yellow balls. Just throwing yelp. <laughs> Keep him off balance, kid. <laughs> uh, I knocked him over. You won't get away again. <laughs> Decoy tactics. Check. Can you pause? The the kid can do exactly everything that the Flash can do, but what smaller. The... Yeah, yeah, exactly. But but what is, like isn't he learning something from the Flash? And that what it should be about is he's learning something from the Flash. He's learning the trade about running fast and going through things. How to make it a business? Yeah. How to right. make it a business? And looking right. good in red and yellow. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. All right. Franchising. Okay. No further questions. Welcome. <laughs> Flash into the H took one. Is that the robot farting? So, yeah. All this technology and they still have propellers. Let's see you get past this barrier. It's Tether Ball. Look out, Flash! Oh, it looked like it hurt. That's how they took down the ad ad. <laughs> He's all yours, gentlemen. Oh, classic Irish Don't cops. Don't robots in this place, genius. Just a plain old cell. But cheer up, Craig. Think of all the time you'll have to build bigger and better robots. Yeah. I like the... In the prison workshop. <gasps> Look at this lack of eyeballs. Snap. I like, I like Flashlight better. <laughs> Hit Flash. What's his name? Hit Flash. Oh, yeah. Flash they're, they're going fast when they don't need to. It's like when cops like go through a red light even when they're off duty, you know. So <laughs> Just showing put on the lights. <laughs> yeah, it's like braggers. Not, not needed. <laughs> also, Flash Lad is better than Kid Flash, right? Any, anything Lad is funnier. Yeah. Well, Flash Lad is <laughs> ten times. All sidekicks should be lads. Mm -hmm. yeah. Robin Lad. <laughs> but but they need to like the, that lad. The, the lad did not like 
he wasn't learning anything. You know what I mean? Like he he was already a pro. Like he he's like gonna take Flash's no, got, job. Remember, he got thrown, and the Flash had to catch him oh, early okay. on. All right, yeah. all right, because he's. So light. I think that means he learned it. Yeah. Okay. So what do you think? Eh? I enjoy watching. I like it. it. Okay, yeah. good. I like animation. It too. Big fan. I, yeah. All right. So here are a bunch of PSAs in which costumed characters attempt to teach us the error of our ways. Saturday morning cartoons will be right back. It's the bird! It's the plane! It's Superman! Kids with asthma don't have to sit out the good times. Now there's a fun <laughs> self-help kit full of games and puzzles from the American Lung self Association. Kit. Every super stuff kit comes with information that helps kids and parents learn about asthma. Follow your doctor's orders and get some coaching from super stuff. That is not his voice. <laughs> It is not at all. It doesn't work at all. No. Captain America here. I need your help battling the energy wasters, the thermal thief, the wattage waster, and the cold air crook. These insidious villains are probably in your home. Defeat the thermal thief by shutting doors. It looks pretty cool, actually. the wattage waster by turning off unused lights. And oh, I love that cowboy light. By shutting the refrigerator you sit, Lamp? Saving energy is yeah. everyone's business, so keep it up, America. Wait, 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 wait! Hit pause. That that was a fantastic commercial. That, that was that really lamp, great. That lamp that they had was incredible. Yeah. And, and the villains that they in, invented just for this, yeah, were, were really good. Yeah. They are. Though I, I, it's a shame that, that the lamp. tips are just like close the door, the front door of your house. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave the refrigerator like open. Villains. Yeah. <laughs> A ticking bomb means trouble for Batman and Robin. Holy breaking and entering. It's Batgirl. Quick, Batgirl. Untie us before it's too late. It's already too late. I've worked for you a long time, and I'm paid less than Robin. Same job, same employer means equal <laughs> for pay for men and women. Smart. No time for jokes, right Batgirl. It's no joke. It's the federal equal pay law. Holy act of Congress. If you're not getting equal <laughs> pay, contact the Wage what? and Hour Division, U.S. Department That's of great. Labor. That's incredible! I love that. If you think That's true. Like me can find Today, as it was back then. Think again. Voting for your local, state, and federal representative lets you choose who's on your side and all the issues we face today. The little ones to the really big ones, too. But before you can vote, you need to register. So do it now. Yeah. Yeah, that's Toby McGuire, right? Information on how to register. That's broad, by the way. Spider Man signed a voter. This is what the Stop the Steal people are talking about. <laughs> Spider Man just he voted, voted as Peter Parker and Spider Man. Right, right. Okay. No I'm ID. Like Chicago. Yeah. But not New York. <laughs> Voice led the Spider Man. Register and vote. He could vote for AOC and Plants. Wow, these voice actors. Yeah. You know, Robin. Quite often, people choke on a piece of food they're eating. Right. What can you do for them? <laughs> Well, if I were choking, that you'd sounds stand like behind me, Casey wrap Casey. your arms around yes. my waist, then make a fist with one of your hands and put oh, it against my cool. abdomen with your thumb against my body, slightly below my rib gauge. Grab your <laughs> fist and press in and upward. <laughs> Sorry, I quit. Push up more than once. <laughs> Try it again. It's important to get it right. Someone's life <laughs> may depend on it. Now back to Saturday morning cartoons. Maybe Frederick <laughs> Workman. Wow. Oh, boy. Something. Uh, that might be yes. the best commercial break of all time. <laughs> you blew my mind yeah. with every single one of those commercials. Amazing. Those yeah. are fantastic. Yeah. Wow. Well all right. All well, right. let's get back to uh, 1967. Let's watch those commercials again. <laughs> Green Lantern. By authority of the mystic guardians of the universe on the far distant planet Oa, Al Jordan test pilot becomes... The Green Lantern. A cosmic I always got Green Lantern and Green Hornet mi mixed up mm. as a non-superhero comic fan. His continuing fight against interplanetary evil. Green Lantern. Yeah, because they both had Green in the title. And there's Green Arrow too, just to make yeah. it even more Green Arrow. That's right. Thanatoid yeah. Sargasso, grim and forbidding. What? What did he just say? <laughs> I feel like he said something. He said the word asshole here. No, no, he oh, said. Like, this, this could be get out of here, you fucking hippie, all over again. Let's That's take it. Planetoid shark asshole, grim and forbidding. Planetoid shark asshole. <laughs> please play it again. That's please. a hundred percent what it was. <laughs> Planetoid, Planetoid shark asshole. Oh, we have asshole. a name for this episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's hear it. 
Lanatoid Sargasso. Grim That's and it. forbidding. Yep. That's it. The known stellar mystery that awaits the approach of unsuspecting space travelers. Ruled by a beautiful but vicious queen. Living in a phallic to rule the universe. <laughs> Queen Serena. Beautiful. Ah, <laughs> oh, perhaps they shall do a skim, skim down the truck. character models here, Bring I think. <laughs> Instantly from the planetoid surface, weird emanations suddenly swirl out and snare the passing crap. That'll happen on planetoid shark asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this already. Uh, this wow. is already great. <gasps> beautiful, beautiful drawing. I love yeah, look at the shading. Yeah. An apprentice test pilot at his controls, accompanied by Cairo, Is Gary Owens? Cal Jordan's Venusian helper. He's off, Tom. Not quite. You're going too far out. He's going to make first class test pilot, boss. Sure, Cairo. Now I want you to peel off, Tom. I mean, you're he's too blue. Close to the Sargasso planetoid. Holy smokes, you're right, Mr. Jordan. <laughs> I feel like they're breaking the plane now. Now. We're too okay. far out. That weird sound. Can't stand it. Losing control. No time to recharge my power ring. Gotta get to them fast. Let those Terrible who posture. worship evil's might <laughs> beware my power. Green lanterns light. Now that's not a lantern. As How am I supposed to? You'll see the lantern rescue. later, I think. The young okay. test pilot is ushered before the evil Queen Serena. The boy who was with this earthling escaped I like their us, my queen. Tarzan no one cloths. He can go nowhere. Now Green Lantern will surely come for these Earthmen. I like her. I'm a fan. Yeah, me too. Green yeah. Lantern, over here. You know she's a Green Lantern. Well, planetoid you? shark That's asshole. Pulling down all the ships. <laughs> Won't anymore, Cairo. After a bath in green heat. That looks like a vaporizer. So, at last, the fish <laughs> has taken the bait. I'm Only a big fan Green of her. Lantern I want her. My she, she, she needs her own show, doesn't she? She would be played by Lorraine Newman in the first season of Saturday Night Live. Mm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Apparatus. Mm. Hold tight, Cairo. This doesn't look like a friendly welcoming committee. <laughs> That's in the intro to the show. Who should need bullets out of their Watch horns? Them them <laughs> I do like those guys, too. His young ward is. I shall do in Green Lantern myself. Riding on his back. First, the Magno Beam attuned to his brain waves. <laughs> no. No. My no. <laughs> Follow the beam. Not the yellow owl. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> One. A two. His power ring. Quickly get his ring. The owl's out too. <laughs> No, she killed he her own owl. Lock him up and guard Time him to rethink life. my weapon arsenal. <laughs> we stop the owl. <laughs> now, my loyal subjects, without Green Lantern to protect them, the guardians of the universe shall fall before my might. Stand by to blast off. Strong cheekbones. Thanks. Strong, strong exposition. <laughs> Talking about Sabrina there. Oh. Complete blasted off! Aye, this means the end for the mighty guardians of the universe. A short while later on planet Oa, in the great central oh, 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 guardians of the universe. Sana's fleet approaches, and we oh. are helpless. We must find That's a way strange to oh. Green Lantern's ring to him. What about the Venetian boy, Cairo? Ah, yes. He is our only hope. I will contact is him. Is his accent still problematic, even though he's oh, blue? Oh, it up, beat me. This is no time for play. I gotta find Green Lantern and Cairo. I thought you died. This in Cairo, Green Lantern, and his ring are in the topmost chamber of the castle. Go, help him. I, we'll I want that action figure. Now. Carol O'Connor. Yeah. <laughs> I want an action figure of an old man. Tiny Archie Bunker. <laughs> but I want all six of them. <laughs> there he is. But how am I going to reach him? This one's too big, and this one's just Daddy, right. You can squeeze through a BP. Come on, please. In in there. Look, BP, through window. Hurry, I'm begging you. What's his name? BP? Is it BP, BP or PP? I don't know. <laughs> I ain't gonna pee pee my bed tonight. <laughs> I think it's BP, like the uh, British like, Petroleum. Uh, yeah. British Petroleum. Yeah. 
<laughs> that should be their logo. Product placement, yeah. Yeah. Great work, Beastie. Is escaping. Sound the alarm. Thanks, Cairo. Hop aboard. <laughs> I got a portal gun. Here come more troops, boss. No time to lose. Gotta knock them out fast. That's Belgian and boss. Wow. Yeah, that was easy. I mean, look, like, that's so cool. I had to push a button. I like how they punch. Yeah, like they the punch sound effect. Wait, wait. Can you back it up? Yeah. I want to hear the I want to hear the punch sound effects. I really like the punch sound effects right, on that okay. one. Gotta knock them out fast. That's Belgian and boss. Oh, 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 oh. Now, to wrap them up in a tight beam bundle. It's fully worth it. Now, it's the same background, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's so yeah. many used <laughs> cells in backgrounds. <laughs> it's like a Mario ball. <laughs> Now, Cairo, you go release all the prisoners and get back to Earth in the test ship with Tom while I go to Oa to intercept Sirena. Real cool, boss. See you back home. Wait, can you say that again? I miss your back. <laughs> Green Lantern! I didn't skate. pick up all that. I don't Destroy know what I'm supposed to do. Quickly! with destructo bombs. He's wiped them all out. Now he... Ah! You've got a date, oh evil queen, with the guardians of the universe. Oh evil queen. So the guardians sentenced Cyrena to a long term of galactic confinement. Thanks to your quick thinking, Cairo. Don't forget BP here, boss. Right. Thank you, BB. Boss, can I? Sure, Cairo. <laughs> you just think the owl I think you'll make us a fine yeah. mascot. All right. Wow. wow. So you can I already see after watching just two that they really are quite similar. In I want more. I that, loved it. Yeah. It's what Saturday morning cartoons are all about, right mm -hmm. there. That that's Saturday. That's the chat that we're looking for. Made mm -hmm. the IHOP cereal mm -hmm. go down just perfectly. Yep. This is the shat you're looking for. N Nick, you're gonna <laughs> Nick, you're gonna be shedding it out in no time. Ah, I'm having blueberry pancake burps already. <laughs> All right. Well, comic book characters are fake, but some are faker than others. You're about to see sets of four names. Three are real comic book characters, the other is made up. So if you like the cartoon Challenge of the Super Friends, you're going to love the game. Challenge of the Super Frauds. Mm, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Yes, nice Photoshop it. work. Okay, group one. Starfinger, Haberdasher, Human Bomb, Mr. Terrific. I'll go Starfinger as the I, fake one. I'm also going with Starfinger. I'm going Haberdasher. Okay. Starfinger was a villain of the Legion of Superheroes. I was Period. a huge fan of Starfinger. Like I read That's every every I Starfinger that came out, issue. like I immediately bought it. Yeah, <laughs> right. And uh, Human Bomb was in Police Comics. I think we need to defund Police Comics. By yeah. the way. <laughs> and Mr. Terrific was a uh, Golden Age character who had his costume included the words "fair play." <laughs> On Incredible. his chest. What? Yeah, he was yeah. killed in the seventies. He was one of the first like big. I like his but, tunic. Yeah. So that's a good. And he was, of course, rebooted. So Joe got Joe's So who's the, the winner? Oh, Joe. I was gonna believe in Mr. Haberdasher. Yes, that's not a real. That's not a. <laughs> but thing. it should be. It, it should be. Agreed. Well, somebody out there, if you're watching. I mean, there's a Mad Hatter. Yeah. There was a Mad Hatter. Mm. <laughs> wow, those legs. A a torso. <laughs> I love that costume. It, it just, just the crest is a hat. It, yeah. it, it, he also wore a diaper. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, uh, it looks full. Again, he, I feel he, like he I'm already Huggies. for that costume. Brought to you um, by Huggies. <laughs> now, okay, again, group two. These are all hyphenated names. By Beast, B I Beast, Scapegoat. Paste Pot Pete, or Animal Vegetable Mineral Man. 
I'm going animal, vegetable, mineral, man. <laughs> Paste pot, Pete. I'll go with scapegoat. Uh, scapegoat. Okay. Ooh, well, Caitlin, what'd you say? I said animal, vegetable, mineral, man. <laughs> <laughs> Too long. How are you going to fit that on the cover? <laughs> maybe, maybe like a alternative comics era. Uh, the Bi Beast is real. Two headed guy. I believe Jet Good to see some representation here. Right. Yeah. Uh, Paste Pot Pete appeared in Strange Tales. He later was renamed the Trapster. Um, Animal Vegetable Mineral Man fought the Doom no. Patrol. Really? But scapegoat was fake. But here is a famous painting from the 19th century called Scapegoat. <laughs> Fantastic. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm okay. on the board. Oh wow, I was I was rooting for Caitlin on that one actually. I, yeah, I'm yeah. losing my job tonight. <laughs> I know. Okay. Brother Power, the Geek, Temperton, the King of Disco, Prez, the first teen president, and Fat Man, the Human Flying Saucer. <laughs> I'm going with Prez. The first teen president. I'm going with Temperton, the teen, the whatever. Yeah, disco. King of disco. So three of these are real, and then one you made up. Right. Oh, wow. You're good. You could have written for these shows back then, right? I'm writing mean, like, for them now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with number one. Brother number Power one the Geek. Yep. Brother Power the Geek was a, uh, a oh. dressing dummy that um, a bunch of hippies put near a radiator it got wet and struck by lightning and turned into a real man who fought the uh uh fought motorcyclists using peace i mean th- this is the wild west back then right yeah. like mm-hmm. well, that was who- the 70s were the craziest of all so here's mm-hmm. prez the first teen president yeah, i have an real. issue of this yeah yeah <laughs> it's awesome cheap. it's amazing yeah Love um it. fat man the human flying saucer uh but uh temperton king of disco is i uh, named it's after funny. rod Rod Temperton, the upper left, he was um, he was a member of the band Heat Wave and wrote many uh, many hit songs of the disco era. Oh, mm-hmm. But they All called right. him Temperton, King of Disco. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can those guys look like Danny Tamborelli, past uh, VCR <laughs> party guests? Yes. Uh, the guy three in. They, they uh, all look yeah. like they're 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 in they're extras from another photo shoot. Yeah. <laughs> but they had a hit. New favorite band. Yeah. The next batch, Mr. Fabulous, the human starfish, asbestos man, or kid psycho? <laughs> asbestos man. Wow. I'm going to asbestos, asbestos man, too. Uh, kid, kid psycho. Yeah. Kid psycho. Well, human starfish was a uh, one of the many Ooh. creatures that um, Robbie Reed of Dal H for Hero could turn into. Uh, he Good could turn time. into a thousand superheroes. Here are just some of them. Um, Asbestos Man fought the Human Torch. Asbestos Man was this after they comics. realized? <laughs> yeah. Was this after they realized that asbestos yeah. was? This was like 1960, I think 61, somewhere around. It was asbestos just a flame was like, retardant substance. Yeah, yeah. But, but they didn't Quash. know that asbestos caused cancer. And I don't all that, think so. Right? Okay. Or at least they didn't admit it, like like cigarettes. Um, and here is Kid Psycho. Uh, Whoa. It's like so a, no one got that right. So wait, what was the fake one? The <laughs> fake one was Mr. Fabulous, which was the name of Alan Rubin from um, the Blues Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> it's a deep well, cut. There right. he is. He was also the Mater D. That's how you'd remember him. And finally, the last batch uh, also hyphenated. It's not it up. It all comes down to this. Joke Incorporated. Hypo Hustler. Psycho pirate or matter eater lad? Psycho pirate. I'm I'm going with the most obviously like it seems like it could be a real one, but I think mm-hmm. George went the other way with it. So I'm going psycho pirate. Nobody else can take that one. I'm going hypo hustler. <laughs> uh, I'll go matter eater lad. <laughs> All right. Well, last one. Psycho pirate was real. Ah, there he is in the middle. The most terrifying of all villains. Uh, Hypno Hustler was real. I said hypo. Oh, but... okay. So I get the point. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> uh, Matter Eater Lad was real. Oh, wow. it's a three way tie. None of us got it. But right. Joke Incorporated, Joke INC, is an anagram for Joe and Nick, 
of course, the Jonas Brothers, or more yes. importantly, mm. <laughs> the found Aww. footage guys. Flip back and forth. Go go back to the Which, other one, and then uh, go to yep. I can't. Am yep. I doing it? I can't. Yep. Saying double. No, no, Four Joe it. and Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Look at, it, it's us. It's us. <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's the wow. same thing. So we all lost. Yay! Yeah. No one. All right. Well, all right. I learned a lot about uh, Golden Age superhero cartoons, but uh, did anybody else learn anything today? Jack mm -mm. Squat. Jack uh, Squat. Right. Which, which, which Jack Squat oh. could be like a, a supervillain. Jack uh, Squat lad. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Jack <laughs> Squat. Well, oh, I definitely learned something. Uh, in the late 1930s, as the world slipped ever closer to a war that no mere human seemed capable of preventing, much less winning, costume-clad superheroes took root in the American psyche with their extraordinary powers. As prayers to deities of the major religions had been unable to stop the carnage of the First World War, our nation's citizens turned to four-color printed gods who could mm. always be counted on to save the day, and each prayer only cost a dime. Now we would look back quaintly on how these masked champions failed to stop not only that war, but nuclear escalation, environmental catastrophe, and 12 fucking seasons of the Big Bang Theory. So as you, the viewer, look for something new to worship, may I direct you to my OnlyFans account, where I watch <laughs> cartoons wearing only a cape and a smile. And that's why I always say, the more you battle, is twice the knowing. Oh, that's why you say that. Yep. Okay. That's yep. the only reason ever. That was I great, see. George. Well okay. quiffed. Well quiffed. Yes. <laughs> I believe we'll oh. be back again to look at cartoons and maybe talk about them and think yeah, about so. them. Mm -hmm. Make jokes uh, about you, them. Wait, yeah. you want to still do this? You want to keep doing this? Like, we don't have to. On the fence. <laughs> okay. Or challenge of the Super Friends, please. I want to do part two, part three. Let's come back mm -hmm. to that one. I am actually a big fan. Like, yeah. that, that, that's what Shaddy's all about. So, yeah. Let's get Shaddy. All right. See you next week. Happy Shatterday, Happy everybody. Shatterday. Happy Shatterday. Happy Shatterday.